Imagine this, it is the end of a long week and you have spent every day bending over backward to meet everyone's need. You have agreed to every request, taken on every task, and now you are completely drained. You collapse onto your couch, exhausted, wondering how you ended up here again. Hey there, mindfulpreneurs. If you have ever felt like you are constantly running on empty because you are always trying to please others, this video is for you. The good news is that you don't have to stay stuck in this cycle. We are going to explore practical steps and tips to help you stop being a people pleaser, set healthy boundaries, and prioritize your own well being. Stick around to the end for my Mindset Minute on this topic as we will discuss the unique challenges people with ADHD face and how they can navigate these tendencies as well. So if you struggle with being a people pleaser, stay tuned. Let us start by understanding what a people pleaser is. A people pleaser is someone who has a strong desire to make others happy, often at the expense of their own needs and well being. Constantly trying to meet others' expectations can lead to emotional exhaustion, neglect of self care, burnout, a lack of self fulfillment, resentment, loss of authenticity, overcommitment increased stress and anxiety, and a lack of boundaries. All these factors can significantly affect your mental and physical health. So how does one become a people pleaser and how can you tell if you are a people pleaser? People pleasing behaviors often stem from several factors, including childhood experiences, low self-esteem, fear of rejection or conflict, cultural and social influences, personality traits, past trauma or abuse, and even the desire for control. Understanding these root causes can really help us address and change these behaviors. Here are some signs to watch for to see if you are a people pleaser. Difficulty saying no. You find it extremely hard to say no to others even when you're overcommitted or it is inconvenient for you. Seeking approval. You constantly seek validation and approval from others, and you worry excessively about what others think of you. Overcommitting. You take on too many tasks or responsibilities because you don't want to disappoint anyone. Avoiding conflict. You go to great lengths to avoid conflict or disagreements, often agreeing with others just to keep the peace. Neglecting your needs. You prioritize others' needs over your own often neglecting your own well-being and self-care. Feeling responsible for others' happiness. You feel like it is your job to make others happy and comfortable, taking on their emotions and problems as your own. Fear of rejection. You have a deep fear of being rejected or disliked, which drives you to people please. Feeling guilty. You feel guilty when you put yourself first or when you say no to someone. If you show more than one of these tendencies, you most likely are a people pleaser. In addition, ADHD can intersect with people pleasing. ADHD traits such as impulsivity, rejection sensitivity, difficulty with boundaries, low self-esteem, anxiety, and the desire for social acceptance can all contribute to people pleasing behaviors. Okay, okay. So what are the steps that someone takes to stop being a people pleaser? Here are 10 steps and tips to help stop being a people pleaser and develop healthier boundaries. Number one, self-awareness. Recognize and acknowledge you are a people pleaser and you have people pleasing behaviors. Reflect on why you feel compelled to please others and how it affects your well-being. Number two, Set boundaries. Learn to say no without feeling guilty. Practice setting clear, firm boundaries and communicate them respectfully. Number three, prioritize self-care. Make time for yourself, 
and for your own needs. Prioritize activities that nurture your physical, emotional, and mental health. Number four, seek validation internally. Focus on building self-esteem and self-worth from within rather than relying on external validation. Affirm your own value and accomplishments. Number five, understand your limits. Recognize your own limitations and don't overcommit. It's okay to acknowledge that you can't do everything or please everyone. Number six, practice assertiveness. Develop assertive communication skills to express your thoughts, feelings, and needs clearly and respectfully. Number seven, challenge those negative beliefs. Identify and challenge any negative beliefs or fears that drive your people-pleasing behavior. Replace them with more positive, empowering thoughts. Number eight, seek support. Surround yourself with supportive people who respect your boundaries. Consider talking to a therapist or a counselor for additional guidance and support. Number nine, take small steps. Start by making small changes in your behavior. Gradually build up to bigger changes as you become more comfortable with asserting yourself. Number 10, reflect on your values. Identify your core values and ensure that your actions truly align with them. This can help you make decisions that are true to yourself rather than based on others' expectations. By implementing these steps, you can gradually reduce people-pleasing tendencies and cultivate a more balanced, fulfilling life. Mindset Minute. Having ADD traits, I have often in the past struggled with rejection sensitivity, low self-esteem, and difficulty setting boundaries. For me, my people-pleasing tendencies showed up as codependency. People-pleasing can lead to codependency by creating a dynamic where your sense of self-worth and identity become tied to fulfilling others' needs and gaining their approval. This behavior fosters an imbalance in relationships where you constantly prioritize others over yourself, leading to a dependency on their validation and happiness. Over time, you may lose sight of your own needs and boundaries, making it difficult to function independently and maintain a healthy, balanced relationship. This cycle perpetuates codependency as you rely more on others for you to feel valued and secure. Here are some strategies specifically for those with ADHD that have helped me to address my people-pleasing tendencies. Aside from awareness, which is key, and education, setting boundaries have been a game changer. Simply learning to say no can be freeing, seriously. Having self-compassion and developing self-acceptance is a must. Consider CBT, which is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, to address underlying thoughts and behaviors. My most favorite is mindfulness practices to help me stay grounded. Highly recommend surrounding yourself with supportive people and consider joining support groups. Lastly, if you are completely drained, consider professional help. Seek guidance from a therapist or counselor experienced in ADHD. Remember, it is okay to put yourself first and prioritize your well being. Breaking free from people pleasing habits can be challenging for sure, especially if you have ADHD. But with awareness, practice, and support, it is absolutely possible to break free. By recognizing these draining effects, you can take steps to reduce people-pleasing behaviors and prioritize your own well-being. Steps towards showing healthier boundaries and self-care practices. For more content on this topic, check out these recommendations in my Amazon Finds Mindset Wellness Books site page. Only if you found this video just a bit helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on mindset wellness and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. I do look forward to reading them. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out this one on overcoming rejection sensitivity. As always, 
Mindset strong, stay focused, stay connected, and always choose joy.